gene therapy carried out? What do you use in order to make the gene therapy work? Okay, so there's, there's quite a, a wide range of tools that you can use to deliver genes. Um, and, and these tools were developed decades ago, but have been perfected over the past few decades. So generally now for gene therapy, uh, you can class things into non-viral and viral. Um, and obviously, as the name implies, is that um, uh, viral is any sort of gene therapy vector that is originally derived from a virus. Uh, and the reason for this is that viruses, they are um, uh, uh, biological entities that have evolved or, or uh, arisen over the millennia or longer to, um, to hijack the cell and inject its genetic material or deliver its genetic material into the cell and kind of hijack the cell's machinery to make more virus. So what we've done is that as gene therapists, we've actually um, turned the tables on the viruses. And, and what we're able to do is actually is to, instead of them to deliver their own genetic material, we can put the genetic payload that we want to deliver, the, the, the gene that is defective in whatever cell or, or patient we're looking to, to treat, and we can get the virus to deliver that DNA or RNA and, and deliver that genetic material alone. Um, and of those uh, virus vectors, a vector is actually is, a, is, is any delivery agent that's based upon the archetypal virus. So the, the main ones now are adenovirus, uh, and then uh, there is adenoassociated virus, which is a different virus, and it's much smaller, and, and uh, not so, it's not really associated with any human disease. And then also there are gene therapy vectors based upon um, gamma retrovirus, and then another gene therapy vector that's based upon uh, lentivirus, upon HIV. And so again, is that in each of these cases, that we're, what we're able to do is to strip out all of the virus genes and to then make it deliver or de produce virus, virus vectors that can just deliver the genetic material they're interested in. And then there are uh, gene delivery agents that are known as non-viral. And these are, um, they, they are not produced in cell culture uh, as little virus particles. Is that what you're doing there is that you're taking um, DNA or RNA, genetic material, and then you are either complexing it with different um, polymers, or, or in some other cases is, is that you are encapsulating them in liposomes. And using this method, you're actually creating a, a gene delivery vehicle um, that's entirely synthetic. Um, and, and what's actually generally happened over the past five or ten years is that the viral gene therapy vectors have proved to be very efficient, although uh, there are problems in terms of the immune response against viral vectors, whereas the non-viral synthetic gene transfer agents, they've tended to be less efficient, but then they tend to produce less of an, of an immune response. So these technologies, they've grown in parallel, and also there is some um, cross-fertilisation between the different, uh, the different research areas. And in your opinion, is the one that's used more than others, um, is the one that's seen as being better for the job, or do they each have a separate use? Well, th this is the thing, is that I think that, that 20 years ago, it was thought that a single gene therapy vector would be the one that was used for everything. But actually, it's, it's very much a case of, of certain vectors are certain use for certain situations and certain diseases. For example, for diseases where you're treating the bone marrow by taking the bone marrow out, the, the vectors that appear to be best for that are based upon lentiviruses because they deliver the genetic material, then that genetic material gets incorporated into the DNA of the bone marrow. So when you put the bone marrow back in again, is that every daughter cell from that bone marrow contains the genetic material. Um, whereas for diseases such as haemophilia, there's been uh, the success with adeno-associated virus because it doesn't generate uh, much of an immune response when it's injected and also uh, it can deliver very efficient, efficiently to the liver, much more efficiently than other gene delivery vectors. So yes, each, each de delivery vector um, uh, can be tooled for a specific disease.